I'm sitting in a traffic jam and you can't see it, but off to my left is your new competition, whether you're a physician or a facility, or a pharmacy for that matter, because it's a CVS pharmacy with a large sign on the side, Minute Clinic. Hey, it's Mark, and welcome to another Success in Motion video. You know, a lot of physicians bemoan the fact that we have that Minute Clinic sitting there a lot, we want to shut down that type of practice of medicine, whether they view it as corporate practice, or whether they view it as somehow unethical, or whether they view it as somehow incompetent. Uh, but I'm telling you that that Minute Clinic and other variants of a consumer-friendly model, uh, in fact, variants that are not even um, uh, corporeal, I mean, there's, there's no physical existence to them, uh, are going to be coming uh, a, an increasing part of the way that uh, healthcare is delivered uh, in the United States. So uh, that's really the future. Uh, the question is then, are you going to rail against the future and uh, attempt to stop it? Or are you going to do something to align your practice uh, and the way it operates uh, such that consumers who are going to be more empowered to make decisions as to where they receive care, are you going to tune your practice or attune your practice uh, to that um, uh, same way of thinking? Now, if you don't, you're going to lose patients. Um, patients who uh, have to wait, uh, you know, two weeks because the pharmacy can't get in touch with you to uh, authorize a refill of their prescription, uh, patients who want you to be able to see uh, an uploaded uh, recording of uh, vital signs uh, from their iPhone uh, are going to go someplace else uh, if you say, well, make an appointment uh, and come on in in two weeks uh, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, it's like... It's like being a wagon wheel manufacturer at the advent uh, of the um, Model T Ford. Uh, you could look at it and you could say we should pass laws to keep those things off the road, uh, but they're coming. So either you have to adjust your business, adjust your practice to that new reality to start making car wheels in our analogy as opposed to only wagon wheels uh, or your practice is going to become as antiquated as a Conestoga wagon you know one of those wagons they use those actual wagon wheels <laughs>